So you know the Tyson saying, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. That's exactly how today went. All right, so it's currently March 29, and I just found out that my original plan to deploy this is not gonna work because Heroku does not offer a free plan anymore. Uh, so I'm gonna have to do some troubleshooting and figure out what I can do to deploy this. This video is supposed to go up, or at least the part one of this video is supposed to go up tomorrow. So I need to figure out how to de deploy V1 by then. Uh, I'm sure there is a solution. I just wanna make sure it's good enough uh, to handle the amount of volume that it's gonna come. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are gonna use this. At least I hope so. So uh, I just wanna make sure I can prepare for that too. Uh, so yeah, just enjoy this time lapse, I guess, of me trying to troubleshoot and figure out uh, an alternative solution uh, to this. And I guess if you guys are watching this, then I figured something out. Otherwise, this video would not be posted at all. But uh, yeah, wish me luck, I guess, because I'm kind of stressed. I do have a couple meetings later today. Uh, so I need to get this done quick and move on to those meetings and get my actual work stuff done. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the time lapse. Uh, hopefully I figure this out soon. All right, so I think I found something that might work. Uh, it's called Python Anywhere. I found a couple options, but I think this is the quickest. Uh, the UI is kind of mid, but I think I should be able to get through this in a couple hours. Uh, all I need to do is upload all my files manually because I don't think they accept GitHub repos. And then I need to tweak certain things here and there, like my WSGI server uh, to make sure it runs on prod, on a prod level. I can't even use my domain, my custom domain which I guess I should have expected since it's a free tier, which is really encouraging me to, I guess, find a more premium option. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll have to figure that out. For right now, I just wanna get this done and have V1 uploaded so you guys can test it out. But yeah, aside from that, I'm gonna try and get this thing uploaded and I'll catch you guys back later. I wanna do an explanation of the code and the deployment sort of, just so you guys have an understanding of how the V1 went through. I might not continue with this uh, if this thing scales because I just think that's gonna be time consuming and it's gonna be hard to consistently inform uh, you guys of what's going on uh, with very much detail. So so yeah, that's the plan for right now. Uh, I'll catch you guys back in a bit with an update uh, if it worked or not. But if you're seeing this video, it probably worked. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. So I managed to get it to work. I'm using Python Anywhere, like I said before. Uh, this is powered by Anaconda, which is more reinsuring, I guess. But I just don't like the UI, and I don't like that the limitations this provides. I guess I understand it's a free tier, so I need to invest more if I want more, but I don't know, I'm just gonna try and look elsewhere. I found a couple other platforms that work for different frameworks like Next.js, so that's an idea I have. Uh, I'll talk about that more next time. But for right now, it is up. Uh, if you go to this link right here, which is, uh, I'll put this in the description basically. It's uh, my username.pythonanywhere.com. Essentially the front end is just some basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript. 
Uh, as you can see, the first page right here is just a simple text, it's a header asking for your resume with the button. Uh, and that's taking in only PDFs and docs, uh, just because I don't want to deal with all the external types of uh, documentation that you can upload. That's just more headache, uh, which I just don't want to deal with right now. And when you hit upload resume and you upload a resume, let's, uh, let's just use this one for right now. It takes you to the next page. And that's also just a text area with uh, CSS and HTML and JavaScript. Uh, what this does here then is when you hit submit, uh, I'm using the backend, which is a Flask app uh, to process the text from both the resume and also the uh, job description. Uh, I'm, I'm using NLTK, it's a library in Python that you can basically uh, take out stuff like uh, punctuation, stoppers, uh, you can lemmatize your text, just to make it more organized and concise for a better result. Yeah, basically it's just taking the words from the job description and from the resume, it's lower casing them, and then it's removing punctuation, and then uh, it's getting the stoppers out, and I'm using English here of course, so if you have a resume in a different language, I'm sorry this won't work for you. Uh, and then it's, uh, yeah, lemmatizing the words and then concatenating all that back together. And then the scoring algorithm is essentially just the uh, number of co common words or keywords in the resume over the number of common words or keywords in the job description. Uh, it's not great, but that's what I have right now. Initially, this is what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm using a framework from Spacey. The only problem is that was too big, so I can't really use it for my current uh, deployment met method. Uh, which I talked about because of memory restrictions and uh, my dependencies were just too heavy. So yeah, I either need to figure something else out or just scratch it entirely. But yeah, that's what I have right now. I also tried it with OpenAI, uh, but then I realized they don't do the free API calls anymore, so I need to top it up. Uh, I need to top up my account with some credits, uh, which I haven't done, but I will, because I want to test it out. Uh, and I'm doing that with Next.js, and I'll talk about that more in the next video. But yeah, essentially all of this stuff is just basic Flask. I'm uploading the file to a, a database and then I am um, you know, getting the score once you type in, let's say, WASD, this is gonna give me a score of zero because there's no common words. Yeah, after, after that, it just prompts you to a third page which is a resume score, I believe. Yeah, resume score.html and then uh, this button just goes back to the home page, and this button goes to the resume, which I won't show for confidential reasons. But yeah, that's, that's essentially the whole project. It's pretty simple. But yeah, cool, that's about it, I guess, for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This might be shorter, but I'm trying to get more videos out per week. I'm thinking of two per week. I think that's a sustainable rate, at least for right now. Don't quote me because things might change. You know, I have work. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going for right now, at least. And then we'll figure it out from there. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a like down below. Uh, let me know down in the comment section if you like the quality, if you like the content, the format, and stuff like that. I'll keep posting these videos as long as you guys are enjoying it and you find value from it. Uh, but yeah, I think next video is going to be more interesting because next video I'll be talking about the plans for this app moving forward. Uh, I think the way I have it set up right now is just not sustainable for scalability. So I'm going to focus on either re recreating the whole app with a different framework and I have an idea for that or trying to look into how I can scale this up from what I have right now. Uh, the front end is super, super, super basic which is one thing I wanna improve, and the scoring algorithm is another thing that I need to improve. So those are two things that I'm looking to improve and work on. Uh, and also I'm looking to uh, utilize OpenAI's API. I know I mentioned this before in one of the previous videos, but I finally figured out how to integrate OpenAI's API into uh, the Flask or the backend uh, for the scoring mechanism. It's just gonna be a bit costly since I have to pay for tokens and stuff like that. So I did mention before that the goal is to keep this product free and that is still a goal of mine. But if I'm gonna use OpenAI's API or any other API that is uh, incurring cost, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to sustain that cost. Uh, so maybe a free tier and also a paid tier or maybe limited uh, submissions. Maybe you can only utilize this tool five times, 10 times uh, with the free tier. Uh, and then you can create an account and you know be a paying service uh, so that I can maintain this. So yeah, leave your comments or thoughts down below. If you guys have better ideas, let me know. I'm really curious to learn and uh, you know improve this product. But for right now, this is what we have. Uh, I did buy a domain today for this. So uh, I have the domain resumescore.com and I'm planning to use that uh, in the future. When this does scale, I'm gonna have a better deployment mechanism uh, so that I can implement the domain and uh, you know use server-side rendering and client-side rendering to make it faster and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the update for right now. This is gonna go a lot bigger in the next coming weeks, I hope at least. 
So yeah, stay tuned, hit the subscribe button if you guys are interested in stuff like this. And also check out the Discord server down below. Uh, it's been growing a lot over the past few weeks and a lot of cool people have joined. A lot of cool people have been giving their feedback and also they're sharing their experiences in the data field. So I appreciate that. Thank you guys who joined and thank you guys who are sharing. So yeah, if you guys are interested in getting more personal help or support or getting your questions answered in one of these videos, I highly, highly recommend checking out the Discord server. It's free. So uh, it's, it's going to be one of the first few links in the description below. Feel free to check it out. I'll see you guys there. But yeah, stay tuned for next video. It's going to come out very soon. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.